welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the first Christmas vlog of 2023. I haven't really vlogged a lot recently but I've kind of been waiting for this moment. We're back in our house now and it's the 3rd of December so it's literally the perfect time to start decorating. Do you want to say hello or anything? Listen, I do not have the best company with me today. Do you feel poorly or you just, you just can't be asked? Bit of both, okay, so here I am, literally dressed like a Christmas decoration. We've been planning this all week. It's Sunday, it's like the perfect day to do it. And Brad just decides that he can't be asked today. Okay, so I'm literally, wait, why is this on? There we go. Um, I am literally all wrapped up like a big snowman. It is so, so cold today. I can't even explain. I didn't even know it was supposed to be snowing, but it snowed last night and it was like a really, really small amount. Don't get me wrong. It wasn't like we woke up in winter wonderland or anything like that. But now it's absolutely pouring with rain and I don't get it. It's just really putting a dampener on my mood if brad hasn't done that already by not being in the mood to decorate for christmas today it's literally the perfect day to do it anyway it's now half past two so we've left it quite late in the day to be fair but we're on our way to get our christmas tree um we're actually heading to wothorpe i hope you guys enjoy this christmasy content that is coming your way let's decorate for christmas i'm so excited okay so this is the little christmas shop that's here as well all of the trees are outside and it's so hard to show you because the weather is so horrible okay this is our selection if you guys remember last year's vlog it was a lot better than this because the only thing that i'm stressed about is that we can't see what the tree looks like without the net on it so when we cut it open like how do we know what it's going to look like i think there's three sizes we've gone for the medium size because our living room ceiling isn't that high uh, there's the small ones there and then the big daddies over there they're 40 pound each is that not a bit sparse at the top no is this some sort of joke we're decorating for christmas and this is you not very well you're literally lying okay first things first we're gonna make a cup of tea. Well, I'm obviously making a cup of teas because he won't get up from the sofa. Brad, we're gonna have our Christmas mugs. So let me just, sh huh? Yeah, the Dubai ones. Let me just show you these mugs before we start. We got these from Dubai. Actually, I won't show you that one yet because I need the lid. Um, so this is the one that Brad chose, Santa. And then I chose the gingerbread house, but the best part, is the lid how cute are they i've literally been waiting for ages to um to use these but obviously we moved out for a little bit so now we're back in the house and it's christmas decorating day we're finally going to use the mugs also i didn't even address this huge pile of washing up here but that's because um our dishwasher broke so we're having to hand wash everything and i'm not used to it so everything's just like on the side and it needs to be put away so don't judge did your tea taste weird this morning yeah did it yeah like being genuinely honest i actually don't know what's wrong i think it might be the tea bags was your coffee weird or not no. okay i think it's the tea bags then must be because we've not used them for a really long time but I thought the same. Do you know what? I'll use the decaf ones because they're actually in the packet, so they might be a bit nicer. But I didn't know if it was just me or whether it was like the honey or something. It wouldn't be decorating day without a mince pie. And this year I bought the iced ones. I've never actually tried these before, but I have such a sweet tooth, so I knew that I would love cheeky little ice bit on the top that actually kind of looks like you babe at the minute i got this little light up tree last year and i'm just in the process of stretching all of the branches out um but i like this one because you can change the colors on it i think i've just got yellow on there at the moment you can't really see it on the camera though um, but you can change it to like pink or red or orange or green or whatever you might want to do Oh, 
acceleration. I can't do all these little scissors. Yeah, but Brian, I'm getting really stressed about it. Start from the top Last coming down. Arthur, can you just do it? Just try it. There you go. It's not doing anything. <laughs> Oh, it's actually a lot better than I thought. I don't know, it's a bit shit actually. What, the tree? Yeah. It's like really full at the bottom, but really um, sparse at the top. I'm sure we can make it work. Stabbed my finger on the tree. Sky Sports coverage of the Premier League. Do you think it will look a lot better when you go to the floor? No! <gasps> In baby Ralph's yard. Show that one. Abby bought me that for my birthday. It's a little Arthur Ralph. We've got a little, um, I don't know what they're called, but that's for our nephew Noah. We need baby Freeman. He's kicking. <laughs> Not all there in the head. Have you seen that? Mm, so cute. Mum got me. You should see Mum's. Oh my god, I cried so much. That's not actually him though. It's just a Vimarana. It's not actually ends. I said if it was, I would just be on the floor in tears. But they are the last of our little sentimental ones. Oh, <laughs> Okay, no, it really looks so shit. I can't work out what it is though. It's the shape of the tree. I don't know, tell me if I'm wrong, but does that look really bad? I bought these baubles last year and I've gone off them. So I put all those on and um, took them all back down again because I think I just prefer the gold. of our living room i forgot how nice it feels to wake up in the morning turn all the christmas tree lights on i literally love it i remember in january this year i said to brad can we just leave the lights up like not the tree but can we just not leave all the fairy lights up and the little twinkling lights like i love it i've got a big cup of tea this morning and this mug i actually painted myself Basically, I took my sister-in-law, Beth, if you know me and Beth, or if you've watched my videos before, or ever see my Instagram stories, you'll know that me and Beth literally just drink tea all the time. We are such grandmas, and she just recently celebrated her 30th birthday, so I thought I would take her pottery painting so we could paint our own mugs, and obviously the best time of year. We both did gingerbread men all over. Beth had like green holly leaves on hers, and I decided to go for love hearts all over mine but this is also like the perfect mug it's really big really nice um texture i can't really explain it but if you get me you get me if you're a hot tea drinker tea or coffee like the mug makes a massive massive difference and this is a really really perfect mug for me especially in the mornings i don't have a big one like this all day this is just my morning tea um Anyway, I don't know why I've been speaking to you about tea for the last 10 minutes. I have got a little bit of work to do this morning. I've got some filming to do and then I have a nail appointment. I told you guys that I get Biab now. This is four weeks of growth. They've lasted so well. Yeah, highly recommend. They're really long lasting. But I'm going to go and get them topped up today anyway um, because I have a job tomorrow in Manchester so i want to obviously have fresh nails every single shoot that i go on i'll always want to have completely fresh nails after that i'm gonna do a food shop because i didn't really do a full food shop last week because there was a lot to do like with moving back into the house 
I only grabbed like a few essential bits. I didn't really do a proper shop with like, I literally haven't had anything in for dinner um, for the last few days. I think Brad's gonna come with me today because he said he wants to choose a few bits and he wants to start eating at home more rather than out all the time because he is out like all day every day. So he often picks up sometimes breakfast and lunch every single day out which whatever like it's fine but in terms of spending money like that you don't really need to spend like especially when we've got food here it's really you don't have to do it it's not necessary i hope you guys have a wonderful wonderful week it feels so nice to be back in our home and just having like a bit of normality a bit of routine back um yeah i'm really excited for this week and i also can't wait to bring you guys along as well i've got some porridge on the go this morning but annoyingly i have to do them in two separate pans because i have oat milk in mine and brad has normal milk in his um literally no reason why i have oat milk i just do i feel like when i have milk in like larger volumes i'll always go for oat milk and not have normal milk i don't know why but the only thing I'll have normal milk in as my tea. Anyway, so what I'm going to put in the porridge this morning is some peanut butter, like a little teaspoon. Oh my God, I cut my finger last night when we were trying to install the washing machine and dishwasher. Anyway, um, spoonful of peanut butter, some chia seeds on the top, some blueberries, also a banana and some honey. Done. This is the results. Okay, hi. Look at me with all my Christmas lights in the background. How festive. You might be wondering why I am dressed to the nines right now. I thought I'd show you like a little behind the scenes of how I'm getting my Instagram content this week. I decided to start a 12 days of Christmas outfits. Am I regretting it? Not yet, but we're only on day five and six. I'm filming day five and six today because tomorrow I'm going to London for a casting and then Thursday it's Ralph's birthday. How is it Ralph's first birthday? Can somebody please explain this to me? How has that baby boy been in my life for one year already? I I could actually cry thinking about it and I'm not even his mum. So anyway, filming day five and six of my outfits today. Um, but this is my setup. So if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I stand in this little gap here. I basically film everything on my phone or normal camera. Uh, this tripod is from Amazon. I will always uh, film my content on my camera roll. Also, I will always, always film in 4K 60. But yeah, that is my little setup. I've just filmed this one and I thought it was really, really cute. So I wanted to show you guys, but um, yeah, this bralette is perfect for any season, to be honest. These jeans, I absolutely live in these jeans. They are just the perfect fitting jeans for me personally. And then I also had these little red heels on from PLT. These were so cheap, like 20 quid or something. Such a nice little staple shoe for the Christmas season. But yeah, that is how I film. Also, I have got a light over there. Ignore the fact that we're sleeping on the floor. We still haven't got a bed frame. Um, but that little light right at the back of the bedroom is giving off the perfect amount of light into this section here because today is so dull guys and oh my god the river is high does it give me anxiety and fear yes absolutely it does um but we've had no flood warnings or weather warnings for this week so i'm trying to relax and trying to chill out but yeah it's a really really miserable grey day and it makes filming really hard. I don't think anybody would understand how important lighting is if you didn't do this as a job. My eyebrow is literally all over the shop. Um, yeah I don't know if any of you guys are interested in how things work behind the scenes. I'm always very conscious about speaking about it because I don't know whether anybody cares i don't know like do you care please comment down below if you are interested in how i am doing the job i'm doing how i got into it how i work week to week i would be happy to do like a sit down video answering your questions about it um yeah let a girl know morning guys happy wednesday um 
exciting day for me today because I have a casting in London, hence why I'm getting ready for that at the moment in my in my towel. But um, Brad's just made us breakfast. What have I got this morning, darling? Eggs and beans, thank you. I'm hoping I get it because they seem pretty keen to book me for the job, but they just said, can you drop in for a casting first? So wish me luck. Okay, guys, this is my hair and makeup for the casting today. To be fair, now I've got short hair, I can't really do much else with my hair, like, other than this. Sometimes I think about putting a wave in it, but it's just so easy to just blow dry it straight. I ran out of concealer today, and I have no spares. I looked in my wardrobe, I've got loads of spare makeup in my wardrobe, and I have no concealer. I don't know if you can tell, but I haven't used it, and I feel like I'm very all one dimension like no sort of contouring is going on on my face right now shit what time's my train i need to check darling happy birthday got matching trainers don't get banana and what's it on them please <laughs> Gorgeous, gorgeous boy. Oh, no paps, no paps. No paps. Auntie Mia, give me a break. Give me, oh, look at those what's it hands. You had enough now, darling. I don't think you're ready for how dressed up I am just to go to Evie's house, to not drink, and to not go out because I've got a fucking water infection. Second one, actually probably the sixth one of the year, second one within two months it's just what we love about being a woman who is prone to urine infections honestly this issue takes over my life and i wish there was something that could fix it i genuinely would i would pay anything to get rid of this problem anyway i am going to evie's for our annual girls Christmassy night out so me Abby and Evie get together every single December and we have drinks we go out not that we don't do that throughout the year but it's just like a nice festive tradition that we do every year near Christmas so that is what we're doing tonight I'm so gutted that I can't drink because of this problem um but I just know if I drink tonight it's just the silliest thing you could do with a UTI anyway I'm going to show you my outfit because I could not not show you this. You're gonna have to excuse our bedroom situation at the moment because it is all over the place. I couldn't even tell you what's going on in this room. But look at this blazer. This is an SLA special. SLA really kindly gifted me this dress and I fell in love when I put it on. So I absolutely had to wear this for our Christmas girls night out. Anyway, I'm gonna sign off the vlog here because it's been a bit of a mismatched week. It's not been very consistent, uh, this video but it will do. Like that was a little glimpse into my week and I feel like you guys will hopefully appreciate that anyway. Thank you guys again for watching. I appreciate you so much and I'll see you in the next video.